For many game devs out there, PNG image files are a backbone of their development process, but they also come with some unintended side effects. My name is Colt McCamless, and for savvy developers who are concerned with user bandwidth and download times, PNG files may not be the best choice for your game assets. And the truth is that PNG files are everywhere in mobile development. After analyzing a thousand of the top games on Google Play, it was discovered that PNG files accounted for more than 75% of all textures for those games games. Which, I mean, makes sense, right? Developers are busy people, and PNG files are easy to use, support transparency, provide some compression savings, and they're available cross-platform. But in a world with restricted download times, customer acquisition woes, and harsh data caps, the size of your app does matter, and PNG files just aren't going to cut it. For developers looking to reduce texture asset footprint in their game distribution, the WebP image format is a perfect replacement for PNG files. WebP supports most of what game devs love about PNG, uh, that is transparency, cross-platform support, and lossless compression. But it also supports lossy compression, meaning you can get even smaller file sizes. And WebP fits into your existing production pipeline, with plugins for Adobe Photoshop, GIMP, ImageMagick, and more. Plus, the command line converter allows you to batch convert your asset chain during your build phase, which is always helpful for programmers on the go. Using WebP is easy in your game, as it's accessible through a C++ library that you can drop into your existing code base, allowing you to use it on mobile and desktop platforms. And it's also available for the web as well. To get a better sense of the type of compression savings available, the WebP team ran some tests to see how the format stacked up against PNG, testing a thousand images in a test corpus. This graph shows the normalized results. You can see that the optimized PNG files are listed as the 1.0 green line there. And it's direct to see that both for lossy and lossless modes, WebP files are consistently smaller in size. That uh, odd little spike at the end though is caused by one by one pixel images, which I mean, you'd expect some weird spikes to go on there, right? Anyhow, this is a perfect time to remind you of a couple tips of getting the most out of WebP. It's important to understand that one compression level doesn't work for all images in your game. Uh, diffuse maps are different than normal maps, which are different than alpha maps, which are specifically different than highly transparent UI images. Which means that finding the right balance between image quality and size means finding the right types of compression settings for each image. But doing that for every image in your game could be impractical. Instead, try to classify your images based on their usage type, as this uh, generally describes their visual properties. From here, you can associate each usage bucket with specific set of compression settings. Uh, these settings can easily be found by your artists who have a few hours to kill on a Thursday afternoon. Oh, and make sure to provide a file that lists overrides for, for specific images, which may require specific compression settings that are different than the bucket they actually fall into. Trust me, your artists will love you for this simple little feature. Now it's worth pointing out that PNG and WebP files are not GPU formats. That is, when you decompress them into main memory, they will be in full 32 bits per pixel and reside on the GPU as such. There's a whole set of GPU compressed formats out there, like a DXT, ETC, PVR, and ASTC, which exist on disk and on GPU in compressed format, which means that you should consider supporting GPU formats alongside WebP ones for textures that may support it. This way, you can optimize both your distribution and GPU residency sizes. Anyhow, to get started with WebP, hop on over to the development page and grab the C++ SDK for your game, or read the docs online. And make sure you check out more information on alpha blending that can cause problems in your game by checking out my other video, Don't Alpha That Pixel. WebP is a perfect replacement for bloated PNG files in your app. So go out there, compress your textures, and build better games.